Hey guys, Doug here at Trigger King. Um, you know, we've talked about quads, we've talked about SMT10s, but there are other setups out there as far as shaft driven trucks go. So I wanted to just touch on that here briefly. And uh, this Xbox Bigfoot truck here, uh, before getting into the actual, some of the guts of it, this, this body, uh, the whole truck hasn't even debuted yet in our series. Um, hopefully here it will be soon. But it's a sport mod and uh, it's a replica of the the actual Xbox Bigfoot. I know some people don't know that there was an Xbox Bigfoot, but there was. Um, it was a, supposed to be a tie-in promotion with uh, Monster Truck Madness back in the day, and this truck was actually shown off at uh, the E3 gaming convention. Dave Harkey, he ran it for a little while, I believe on Bigfoot 11, and uh, then it was retired. And I know uh, back when working at Bigfoot, we had this inside the showroom. Um, we had this body as a decoration. So anyways, this is a, a shaft chaos setup. So this is the uh, absolute chaos chassis we've talked about before. And... Um, but it's set up for shaft drive. It's got axial guts in it. So, so you know, before getting into that real fast, these are actually the uh, uh, RC four wheel drive King shocks, and you can take off that blue color with uh, some oven cleaner. So there's a little uh, trick for you there. They look really nice. It brings it down to like an anodized or polished look. I know a lot of guys don't like that light blue. It kind of doesn't go with a lot of paint jobs. But the shocks are nice. So there's not a ton here. Um, different I guess or to talk about because I know we've talked about the chaos chassis in depth before but again this does have an axial transmission in it now you can see here that kind of the uh, ends are just chopped off here to fit your drive shafts a little bit better um, but it's got full axial you know drivetrain everything here it's kind of one of the nice things with the chaos is that you can do both things with it. you can run a clod or customize it for this you can see here with the skid uh, chopped up a little you got a receiver mount here ESE is mounted low and then it's got a shorty pack here on a, another thing here because you've got all these mounting holes and everything that you can mount all the trays and everything different so it's a versatile chassis uh, I figured you guys wanted to see that and uh, you know one last thing here on the chaos if you're gonna do a shaft truck the shaft trucks have all the weight sprung on the chassis where a clod you know a lot of the weight is on the axle because that's where the gearboxes are so so for the sway bars on this uh, a shafty version of the chaos it's recommended that you actually run them the ends on the axle to the mount there versus on the four link like the clods because it, it helps with the uh, mitigate the weight and it handles better that way so again uh, just wanted to show you something different you know you can do with like a, uh, a chaos chassis here everything in our series you know there are other trucks too that aren't SMT 10 or clod even though that's what we mainly talk about uh, but this is a pretty cool setup and you guys will see this truck you know and how it runs here pretty soon so just wanted to give you an idea on something else you can do, and we will see you next time.